The goal for me has always been to make the tools feel as natural and comfortable to the patient as possible. The art of using the tools is so they have no idea that you're even using tools until you tell them. Each of the tools has gone through a fair bit of metamorphosis over the years as I improve each tool by using it in my clinic and noticing how I could make the tool a little more comfortable for my hands or how I could shape the tool a little bit different so that it would be more effective or adding extra tips to the tool. It's my goal to have as many as six working edges on the tools on each of them so that you don't have to buy as many tools and so you don't have to be setting down the tools and picking up the tools constantly. If I was actually working on her rather than demonstrating, I would of course keep both of my hands on her. Use this on the side of the foot as well. You can use this all over this calcaneus. All when we go over here along this side, picture there's a muscle that runs right along there. She's very tender right in that spot. So when I My thumb no longer gets twisted back every time I do an effleurage stroke. Okay, and you can just run this tool right through that laminar groove just beautifully. Okay, and as you can see, I can go right in between the spinous processes and get all those little trigger points and little ligaments where they hide. Reach right up into that OA joint, right up into those suboccipitals. Get any scar tissue or any trigger points hiding way up in there that your fingers will never reach. Nice thing about this tool is that when you come across a tight muscle, the tool will just lift up and over that tight muscle. I begin to visualize early on in my career some sort of tool that would be able to reach into areas that I couldn't get into or that was very difficult on my thumb, for example, subscapularis. I used to think somebody should invent something that would help reach up underneath there so it didn't kill my thumb so much. 20 years later, I decided, I guess if someone's going to invent them, it's going to have to be me. So it is my intention to reach up inside here and then push posterior. In other words, directly towards the ceiling in this case, directly into that subscapularis. Now I've put a long handle on this tool so that I can actually use it as a bit of a fulcrum to push down on the handle and that will apply more pressure in the subscapularis if the person needs Many of the areas where I originally designed the thumb tool to use, I'm using the L bars or the T bars. I find they're more comfortable. This one, you're pretty much restricted to, to this tool. Now, again, if you recall, I said that we could use other tools when she was face down and get in there. So you're kind of just getting the final part of it. Now, this finger is feeling the spinous processes, and this one's sensing the transverse processes, so I can keep the tool right in the right in the valley. Okay, the tool is right there along the spinous processes. And by just putting a little of my body weight on her, now this is what's happening here. I'm keeping my fingers right on those spinous processes. I have my thumb right on the crest of her ilium here. So using the best friend tool with the round tip I can get using, I've, I've put the tool against my tummy and I have the tool right into that. Your hands will feel like they're on vacation while you do the most effective work you've ever done. You will see below a number of different individual tools as well as packages of tools. There are also tools for home use and also make sure that you see the offerings of streaming workshops. Thank you for visiting the Career Extenders website.